Welcome to lesson three in this calculus series, calculus one, two, and three, the first course. Today we are going to talk about increments and distance. First of all, what is an increment? An increment is a net change in coordinates. Now that can be Cartesian coordinates or any kind of coordinates, but so far we've just introduced Cartesian, so we're going to work with that. It can also refer to a net change in any given value, but for our purposes we're dealing with the context of the xy plane and the way we represent points in that plane using coordinates. So to give an example, let's take a set of axes, we have x and we have y, and we label them as before. Now, if we take a point A, this point has coordinates minus 4, 4. Take another point B, let's say that point is 3, 2. In moving from the point A to the point B, let's call that B, we can ask what is the net change in each coordinate. And by net change, we mean the overall distance that we've traveled. Now, of course, the way we are going to calculate it, the direction is going to matter. But for the general formula for calculating distance, it's not going to matter. So in going from A to B, what's the difference between the X coordinates and what's the difference between the Y coordinates? Well, the X coordinate of B is 3 and the X coordinate of A is minus 4. Let us denote that distance by delta X. That is equal to 3 minus negative 4, which is actually 7. And delta Y is 2 minus 4, which is minus 2. So delta X and delta Y would be the increments if we're talking about traveling from the point A to B. These increments are signed, but what about the distance between A to B, the straight line distance? How do we calculate that? Well, if we observe, we could form a triangle like this. And we know from Pythagoras' theorem, if we label this a, b, and c, the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared is satisfied by such a triangle. The distances for a and b are actually these increments delta x and delta y. a is minus 2 and b is 7. And it doesn't matter about the signs when we're using the formula for Pythagoras theorem because the squares make the signs of no consequence. So if we look at that formula we can have 7 squared plus minus 2 squared which is 49 plus 4 that's 53 which is actually equal to c squared. So the distance c is square root of 53 units, whatever units we have on the x and y axis. So this actually tells us a general formula for distance. What is that? Delta x is the difference between the destination x coordinate and the point of origination x coordinate. So in this case, the x coordinate of b and the x coordinate of a subtracted. Delta y is similar, but for the y coordinate, it will be the destination y coordinate and the point of origination y coordinate. So we can use these two in the formula for Pythagoras theorem. We just have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared is equal to c squared, where c is the distance of the straight line connecting a and b, and therefore c is the square root of all of that. Now can we use this to find the equation of a circle? We can. Again, we draw some axes. So this circle is going to have some center. That point will be 
let's say some AB and there will be a radius of length R and if we look at the situation with a right angle triangle we have this distance and this distance and this point on the circle is XY so what about the increments the increment along the x-axis be x minus a that's our delta x the increment along the y-axis is y minus b so that accounts for this distance and this distance and these distances satisfy the Pythagoras theorem which is delta y squared plus delta x squared equals r squared so r equals the square root of delta y squared plus delta x squared which is the square root of y minus b squared plus x minus a squared i wrote it the other way around before with the delta x first and the delta y second but it doesn't matter of course you don't have to do that you could leave the square on the r and just write y minus b squared plus x minus a squared on the right hand side it's a matter of preference but this is the equation of a circle mm -hmm.